Hello everybody and welcome to another fountain pen review. Today I'm in a different setting, it's a new setup, I'm using a slightly different camera. For anyone who's seen my previous videos I'll realise that I was using a vlogging camera which had a, quite a wide angle and uh, somewhat distorted uh, the images of the pen. So I'm trying with a different camera today so hopefully the uh, video quality and the sound quality should be better. Please do let me know uh, what you think down below in the comments. Okay, so today I'm going to uh, bring to you a review of a pen that, um, or uh, a, a pen series that a lot of you have seen or seen reviews of, but I haven't really seen um, any actually reviews on, on YouTube, uh, uh, video reviews of this particular model of it. And the pen is um, a Kaweco, Kaweco Sport. Most of you will recognize the uh, packaging, gray outer sleeve, and then the uh, classic tin here. I won't go into detail of the tin. Uh, you may have seen many videos with the tin, uh, but quite a retro looking tin. And the pen I bought from uh, Frank at uh, Fonta Plumo Pens uh, in the Netherlands and uh, really had a great service. I ordered the pens a couple of weeks ago. He didn't have them in stock, but um, he kept me uh, he kept me posted uh, on uh, on when they were going to arrive, when they were shipped. Uh, really good service. So the pen I, I bought uh, was a Kaweco Sport. Uh, you've seen me do a review on the AL, uh, and there's lots of other um, uh, the Stonewashed AL, sorry. Uh, but there's lots of other reviews on uh, the Classic, the um, the Sport uh, uh, Crystal clear coloured versions so quite a lot of reviews but this one is and it comes in a little plastic bag is the Kaweco Brass so um, if I can get the camera to focus I'm struggling here we go so it's the same shape but a brass pen much heavier than uh, the previous ones uh, uh, just take you round round the pen. Um, so, as many of you may know, this pen comes without a clip. Again, without a clip, and it's a hexagonal shape. That's the the cap element there. The finial at the top has the uh, familiar. If I can get it to focus, I'm not going to get it to focus. Here we are the familiar Kaweco logo in silver okay and nothing at the other end again trying to get it to focus just a rounded machined end and then the top of the barrel if I can get it to focus I'm not sure how clearly you can see that but there is a little step down so the barrel isn't cylindrical all the way to the top and even in the plastic versions there is a slight lip there um, on the barrel probably not as prominent as you can see on the metal versions of the pen uh, the pen that I've got is a medium nib and it's a steel nib on this one and um, most or all the Kaweco pens I've used the Kaweco Sports I've either got uh, medium or uh, fine. I've found them to be extremely smooth. It's a cartridge uh, pen, cartridge converter, but the converter that you can buy, you can buy a Kaweco one, which is very, very short. So in this pen, simple uh, cartridge going there, and you get one standard cartridge, and this looks like the standard Kaweco black cartridge. Okay, so just um, go through a couple of um, stats on the pen. Uh, the pen itself is uh, uh, 47 grams compared to, um, if you look at the plastic, and this is with the clip, the plastic uh, clear classic uh, sport here. Really struggling to uh, focus here. Apologies for this. It's not going to do it. Sorry. Uh, but a plastic clear sport as I have here is with the clip only 11 grams and then the pen which I reviewed recently with the clip which is the AL Sport stone washed is 22 grams so you can see that the brass one is uh, considerably heavier at 
at uh, 47 grams. It does feel nice though. The pen itself um, is uh, with the cap it's 10.5 centimeters long. Uh, posted it's 13.5 so it makes for quite a decent size for writing and the section is uh, is really quite nice. I quite like the sections on the uh, Coecos. They slightly flare out. Again if I can get it to focus you can probably see. There we go. Uh, you can see that it slightly flares out at the bottom so your fingers nice and comfortable in on that section. Um, and also the uh, the diameter of the pen is uh, 1.4 centimeters. Um, so it's quite a quite a decent sized pen when it's capped. Most people find it difficult to write with it uh, uncapped. For me, for short notes, um, I find it okay. I can't imagine using it for, for very long. However, however, with the cap on, with this brass pen being heavier, it, I, for, for me, it's a little bit top heavy. It's heavier than uh, the others, and uh, I'm not. I think I would probably prefer it. Just uh, prefer to use it without it posted. Um, so the pen itself. Uh, doesn't come with a clip, but I did buy a clip from Frank as well, and I went for um, the the antique copper clip rather than the silver one. Now I'm not sure how that will go, um, but uh, let's just try it on the pen. And actually, I don't mind it. I think it looks quite nice. That sort of copper and brass finish. Um, I have seen some photos with the uh, with the silver clip, the the sort of erodium plated or the sorry the the chrome pr plated uh, clips with the antique finish, uh, and they look quite nice as well because of the the the, uh, the logo being in that colour and the nib as well. But this doesn't look too bad. I think I could probably uh, live with that. I think it looks quite nice. Okay, so that's the pen. Um, I, I really do like uh, the, the size of these pens and I, actually I, I thought that it may have been a little bit too heavy to use but it isn't too bad. I haven't used it yet, I'm going to uh, ink it up and do a writing sample now and I'll possibly use it for the, for the coming weeks and just see how I get on with it. But um, yeah, lovely pen, really well finished uh, and uh, if you fancy winning one and you're a member of the MTN uh, fountain pens and inks group there is a uh, special June offer on from Frank at Fonteplumo pens uh, there's a 10% off anything you buy with that discount code for the month of June 2015 uh, you get put into a free prize draw to win one of these so if you're a member go on uh, have a go a lovely lovely pen so I'm going to ink it up now and uh, I'm going to actually use um, some Kaweco Kaweco um, Silver, uh, sorry, um, Kaweco Sepia ink. I bought this a while ago and I haven't tried it out, so uh, because they're cartridges, it'll be ideal because I don't have a, a converter for these these pens. I know some people refill car uh, empty cartridges with ink of their choice, but I thought I'd give this uh, this ink a go. So I'll catch you in a few moments with a uh, writing sample. Okay. Okay. So welcome back. Um, just read. Just did the camera so you get a better view of the writing sample. Um, the paper I'm going to use is the Kaweco dot dash card um, and I'm going to use as I said earlier the Kaweco sepia or uh, caramel brown ink. So I've uh, put the cartridge in and primed it and this is the first time I'll be using this pen. So this is the uh, Kaweco Brass with medium nib, and it's quite smooth on this paper. Um, I have used this card before with other pens, and uh, I feel it, it 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 feels as if it's slightly absorbent, but it isn't. You know, it isn't feathering or um, uh, bleeding through. Um, but the pen feels fine on here. Um, it's a nice medium medium writer. It's it's as I've uh, had other Kaweco pens. Um, 
you get you can squeeze a little bit of line variation out here you go without any pressure with some pressure but I wouldn't want to give any more than that it is a steel nib it is uh, uh, it is quite hard so um, you know if you you can get a little bit of line variation from it but not much um, see what the flow is like um, some of this is obviously the property of the paper as well as I said it feels quite absorbent so the ink dries fairly quickly but what I have found with my Kawakos uh, previously that they are generally quite uh, dry uh, but I've not really had a problem with the flow on them so I hope you like this review and um, like the pen as well please let me know uh, what you think and uh, I'll catch you soon thank you very much